Hi, I'm Justin Kay, Field Specialist in Horticulture with MU Extension, and I'm here today to give you a brief overview of how to determine the timing of harvest of watermelon, cantaloupe, and honeydew. It's important for this discussion to define climacteric and non-climacteric crops. Climacteric crops are those that will continue to increase sugar content and ripen off of the vine. This allows for more flexibility of harvest time for optimal flavor. Because ripening will occur after harvest, the flavor can improve after harvest time. Peaches, tomatoes, apples, and cantaloupes are all in this climacteric crop category. Non-climacteric crops, however, are those that will not ripen off of the vine and there will be no increase in sugar content after harvest. This makes harvest timing of these crops critical for optimal flavor and texture. Strawberries, grapes, watermelon, and most honeydew melons fall in this category. All watermelons are non-climacteric, making determine optimal harvest time for best flavor very important. One indicator is the ground spot where the watermelon touches the ground. This ground spot becomes more prominent, changing from a lighter color to a richer yellow color. It also becomes tougher and resists fingernail denting as the watermelon becomes riper. Also, the tendril closest to the fruit becomes brown and dries up, and this is a great indicator of ripeness. In many varieties, the rind will lose its shiny sheen slightly with maturity. Optimal storage of watermelons is 95% relative humidity and 50 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit, allowing for one to three weeks of storage. Cantaloupes are fully climacteric, and they will continue to increase sugar content and ripen after harvest. Cantaloupes can be harvested at full slip or just prior to full slip. This is when the cantaloupe removes easily from the vine due to an abscission layer of cells between the fruit and the vine, which allows them to separate easily. For growers, it might be important to harvest cantaloupes earlier than full slip to allow for longer storage time. Storage of cantaloupes is optimal at 95% relative humidity and 40 degrees Fahrenheit, allowing for two to three weeks of storage. Most honeydews are non-climacteric crops, so unlike cantaloupes, full slip will not be an indicator of ripeness. Ripeness indicators do vary across varieties, but rind color changes and presence of a sweet smell, as well as the blossom end becoming soft or springy, can be good indicators of ripeness. Also, the variety descriptions in seed catalogs often provide good harvest recommendations in terms of color changes for these different types of honeydew melons. Optimal storage of honeydew melons is 95% relative humidity and 45 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit, allowing for two to six weeks of storage. If you have additional questions, feel free to reach out and check out the additional resources we've included in the description of this YouTube video. There's a quick guide to harvesting and storing melons, squash, and pumpkins from University of Minnesota, as well as a detailed guide on post-harvest handling of melons and winter squash from University of California at Davis.